and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over what happened in Cochrane, Alberta's real estate market in the month of September and what to look forward to as we move into October and now our fall market. But before I jump into the video real quick, I'd like it if you would take the time to drop a like, maybe hit that subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel and get this content. If you've seen any value from it in front of more eyes and more audience that is interested in the Cochrane, Alberta real estate market so that they can then too get some of that information. Now, in September, Cochrane did see a relative slowdown to what it's been doing for the past four years. In fact, for the first time since September of 2020, Cochrane has hit over three months of supply. Now that's a big number because Cochrane historically does sit just higher than that. So we are still below its normal long-term forecast. However, we're getting much closer to that more balanced market that Cochrane was known for for years. Now that didn't stop the overall year over year price increases with Cochrane still seeing about a 9% increase in its benchmark prices year over year. However, from August to September, we did not see any additional price growth in the market. Now that big change of inventory, which is almost 24% year over year, came from an increase of listings of about 115 new listings here in September with only 58 new sales. Now that sales to new list ratio being you know right around that 50% mark again brought up those numbers but if we dive into that a little bit more the biggest thing that i notice here is that a third of the listings in cochrane are over the eight hundred thousand dollar mark and a third of the overall listings are new construction which leaves a much smaller percentage for the average buyer in that 600 to eight hundred thousand dollar budget range now that being said right now we've got about 11 condos on the market but only four duplexes that are not new construction. So if you're looking for a home that's been prior lived in and you're looking in that townhouse condo duplex market, there's less than 25 total listings in those categories. So for those more entry-level homes, Cochrane still does not have a huge amount of inventory. And I expect those homes and in that price bracket to still be very, very competitive as we move into the fall market here. With that increased inventory, obviously has come a slowdown in the price growth month to month. As I mentioned, from August to September, we did not see any changes to the benchmark prices. However, Cochrane is still holding strong to that 9% year over year growth, which actually for the first time in a few months here, Cochrane has been the one to outshine Calgary in its year over year price growth. The market in Cochrane, Alberta has also shown signs of cooling a little bit in its competitiveness on certain listings. The sales to list price ratio dropped to about 99% this month, which is lower than the past five or six, where we've been hovering right around that 100%, you know, 99.9, .9, 99.8, that sort of thing. So we are seeing a little bit of a slowdown in the sales to list price ratio, which would give an indication that there is some sellers looking to sell that are a little bit more motivated and are willing to accept some offers that are below asking price. That's great news for buyers entering the market. And I just wanted to sit back and reflect a little bit here over the summer. The summer was pretty crazy, but I did mention that with the changes in mortgage rates and the fact that there was a lot of people that bought in that 2019, you know, 2020 time frame, they would be starting to look and being close to that six months to their renewal period, that we might see an increase in listings later into the summer market and into the fall as people were coming up to that mortgage renewal. Because at the end of the day, if you've got a really good rate, that only really matters at renewal time if you like your house. If you're going to have to renew to the higher rates anyway, that's when I expected some more listings to hit the market as people were then using that opportunity where they had no choice but to refinance their mortgage to then upgrade or downgrade their homes. And I think that has come a little bit true here as we've seen that increase in listings here over the last month. I do expect this winter market to follow suit with what last year's did, where we're going to stay pretty much status quo for the next few months. Things are going to stay pretty uh, relatively even in the market. We're going to see days on market increase here a little bit, you know, barring a super well-priced home. And obviously nobody likes to move in the winter. So we do see typically less listings throughout the winter and a little bit less movement that way as well. With that all being said, yes, we've had some smaller incremental drops in the mortgage rate. But who knows what the federal government is going to do here and the Bank of Canada is going to do as when we first started seeing all these mortgage increases, the word was that we were going to do things slowly and calmly, and then they tripled in the course of a year. So barring 
the government coming in and making some really brash changes and really dropping the interest rates, I think we're going to sit pretty similar here through the winter market and develop into the spring next year. I'd like to know what you think. Do you think the government's going to react strongly and try to really force these rates down, maybe jumping on the back of these latest mortgage changes? And if you haven't watched that video, it's up here. I'd like to know your thoughts on the situation. I think we're going to stay pretty status quo. I don't think we're going to see huge drops because uh, I don't think they want to see further price growth as that's only going to hurt the federal government's current approval rating because obviously price of homes and affordability of homes has been top on the mind. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found the information I'm providing you useful. If you have any questions about the Cochrane Alberta real estate market, I'd love to help answer them. Just drop a comment in the section below there and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks, and I will catch you in the next one.